Hey everyone, welcome back to Moulage Monday. I am Sarah. I'm here with Lanier Technical College Hall Campus. Today I'm going to be showing you how to moulage a grade one sprain or mild inflammation. Um, today I'm going to be using a mannequin. This is my buddy Thanos. Obviously he's got a little bit more to worry about than a sprain or just some little inflammation. But anyway, it's just better to show you how to moulage that on his leg. All right, let's go ahead and get started. For materials, you'll need some tachyderm. I used maybe like four or five on the leg just to um, cover the area so I don't stain the mannequin skin. And then you will also use, these are my two favorite Ben Nye palettes. This one is the Master Bruise Wheel and this one is the Monster Wheel. And then this is some um, Pocket Nurse Red Cake Makeup. You'll also need some sponges and gloves if you don't want to get your hands dirty. Ideally, you would want to use pink makeup, like pink blush makeup first, but since I don't have that, I'm going to make pink. I'm going to use this red from the Master Bruise Wheel. Get a little bit on my sponge. I'm going to kind of dab it everywhere. Just lightly, you don't want to be too dark. And ideally you would want to make this sprain or inflammation, whatever you want to use the smoulage for, all the way around the leg, but I am just pretty much going to moulage the top part of the leg just to show you guys what it would look like. All right. All right. It's pretty faint, but got a little bit of red in there. Now I'm going to take the opposite end of my sponge and I'm going to go in with this white. See if I can kind of make this pink. Something I've noticed as I'm applying this makeup, um, if you're going to be using Tegaderm to put this on, um, I would try to avoid these crevices because it looks like some of the red makeup is seeping underneath the cracks, which makes the Tegaderm a little bit more visible. It's not a big deal, um, but you know, if you wanted your makeup to look a little bit more real realistic, I would say try to avoid those cracks. We've got that um, made pink, it's very faint. Now we are going to go in with this cake red makeup. Take a little bit of this. I dab it. I want to go back in with a little bit of my white makeup just to make it look a little bit more, um, just kind of make sure the color kind of gradients out a little because it's looking a little bit more red than I would want it to up at the upper top of the tachyderm. And if 
you are going for more of an inflammation of the skin rather than a sprain, if you want to make the skin hot to touch, my recommendation would be going to Walmart and getting the brand Hot Hands. Um, it's basically just this little heating packet. If you shake it up, it um, activates and it becomes warm. Um, it's really great if you're camping. I use it when I'm camping. But um, you could just place this on the skin right before the simulation. It won't hurt the mannequin or anything like that. Um, but it'll make the skin just a little bit warmer. So if the students were to touch it, even with their gloves on, they should be able to feel that heat. So it would be something kind of neat for the students to touch other than the makeup. Alright, and there you have it. This is a grade one sprain or inflammation, just mild inflammation. That's it for today's Moulage Monday. I know it was pretty easy. Next week I would show you the grade two sprain with worsening inflammation, but since it's Valentine's Day, I have a special Moulage surprise to show you. So stay tuned for next week and hopefully I'll see you then. Bye.